Welcome back. Well, it's summertime, and that means light, fresh drinks on the patio. Maybe time to switch up your wine choices. You know, winter's when we want those Merlots and those cabs. Mm -hmm. Well, summer is the time to try some pinks and rosés. Step like out of that, that comfort yeah. zone. Yeah, reminds me of peonies. we got some beautiful yeah. pink flowers here on our table. Jessica Bell is from My Wine School to help us choose these light and summery drinks. It just looks pretty. It yeah. does. I know. That's what I always say about pink wine. It's just pretty, so it's fun to drink. Yeah. And what I also love is that they just smell beautiful. So, mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay. Yeah, and these, um, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more pink wines in the restaurants and retail stores, so I thought I'd come and get you guys a crash course. What is wine. a pink wine? Is it a red mm -hmm. wine that's like got diluted? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still 14%, 13% alcohol, so don't worry. You guys can be fine. Yeah. Yeah. You can still drink it. It's fine. Okay. Um, but go ahead and smell this, and I'll, I'll give okay. you a little crash course on it. Yeah, so you can see the difference actually in the pinks. Mm -hmm. So you've got um, this one is a really light one. This one comes from the heart of uh, pink wine country. This is from Provence. They've been making pink wine. Oh, it's not sparkly. I thought no. it'd be sweet. Mm -mm. Yes, exactly. And that's very that's dry. Very dry. That's a misconception of pink wine in America is that it's sweet. But in reality, all over the world, it tends to be more on the dry side. Okay. Huh. Color has nothing to do with sweetness. It has everything to do with your first question is a winemaking technique. Uh -huh. So in very general terms, uh, pink wine is just abbreviated red wine making. What does okay. that mean? It took less time to make it? Right. So red wine, we get all of our, our color from the skins. Yeah. And so you might uh, the skins might spend two weeks on the juice. Okay. Uh, with these these pink wines, you only spend maybe two days or two hours. So it's extracting less color from the skins, and that's the oh. only difference. Hmm. Uh, mainly, there's then a couple. What about white wines? Do they not use any skin, or exactly. is it just a different grape? You guys are good. Yeah. So I know these are my A plus students. So. Um, Okay. Yeah, so white wines are going to remove the skins right I away. I get smarter than right. white <laughs> And more good looking. And, and, and say, you get better, better looking, looking too. <laughs> and you can dance better too. Right. Right. I'm a really good dancer. <laughs> so this is definitely the quintessential rosé wine. Us is, you know, these are all Where under 20 from? bucks. This is from uh, Provence, where you also find um, Brangelinas uh, in the south of France. France, thank so, you. So Saint-Tropez and, like I said, Brangelina, um, they're making their <laughs> rosé wine down there. They have something called Cheers. Chateau Miravel. All right. Okay. What's this? So this is from Spain. I just got back. This darker. is it is darker, and um, what what you're seeing is a different type of grape, which has darker yes. skins. Okay. And so that is what is uh, giving this wine a little bit more color. Maybe it spends more time on the skins. I like this one better. Oh, and wait to hear the price on this one. What ten, is it? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I, I am cheap. What? I know. So okay. this is um, this oh, is such you, a pretty bottle too. Yeah, this is called Olivares, and it's perfect for tailgating because it has the screw cap. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, that's what I love about almost all the ones that you brought. I love screw caps. Me too, especially for the summer. You know, you're outside. You really don't want to have to deal with a corkscrew sometimes. Yeah. Um, so this is perfect. It's 10 bucks. It's beautiful. And it's just going to go great with hot dogs. and with, with oh, hot, hot dogs? dogs. <laughs> Brats, though, Jessica. Too, that'll Brats. work, too. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, good. I like this. Oh, sounds good. Still dry, though. Okay. Still dry. Definitely. These yeah. are all dry. And that's what How I really want to hammer home is that uh, pink wine is often dry. So now I brought some domestic ones. We've got one from Oregon on the right. This is going to be what I like, right? Yeah, I brought you this know, one for I you. I love Pinot Noirs I, from Oregon, so exactly. this is your Pinot Noir Rosé. Exactly. So they're still using the red grapes, the Pinot Noir, but they're just going to, uh, in very general terms, the wine is going to spend less okay. time on the skin. When skins. she says in general terms, she means she's going to explain it in a way that we can understand <laughs> it. <laughs> That's what she I means. Mean, my last just, <laughs> in you know, morning show simple. terms, <laughs> at 10 a.m. with a lot of wine, you got to keep it simple. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so this one I thought of you, Tiffany, and it is a it is a, a rosé made of Pinot Noir. Oh, that's good. Isn't that nice? Oh, this I like my that. Favorite. Mm, that's this, good. This is a little bit more expensive at 18.99, so mm. still, still under 20 dollars. Yeah. Still that. reasonable. And you can That's see um, when you compare it to the one next to it, which is made of a Zinfandel, which is a oh, let's darker put that grape. Next to it. Yeah, yeah, look at the different color here. You can see okay. a distinct difference. Um, see that? You're getting okay. basically a darker grape and perhaps a little bit more time. So this yeah. one's darker. Skins. Okay, th this here is darker than this one. This is the one we just drank. Okay, so what is this one then that we're about to taste here? Now, this one is uh, made from a Zinfandel. Okay. Again, the only, and people Smells often sweeter. think of white Zinfandel, and that is sweet. Mm -hmm. And that is the, I think, the highest sold mm -hmm. restaurant yeah. wine in the, in the country is white Zinfandel. So that's why people in America think that pink wine is sweet. They associate it with white Zinfandel. Yeah, this I is like, a, I like this one. Zinfandel. Dry rosés. <laughs> 
I you like, like this. this one? Yeah. Yeah. So this one's a little mm -hmm. bit actually more. I, I thought of you on this one. This one's got a little bit more spice, a little mm -hmm. spicier. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, this has got a little bit more, a little less of that fruit and floral notes that we saw in the lineup, and this is just a little bit uh, of a more a stronger. How rosé. much does this one cost? That one is only twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my favorite. Right. That's all right. interesting. All right, so These people go to mywineschool.com. They can find out all about what now. What's yeah, on your website? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on. We just got back from Spain. We're taking trips uh, all over the world, and uh, and our next trip is to South America. Great. Okay. So people need to visit mywineschool.com to find out more about that. Thank you so much. Always. Thank Great you. to see you. Yeah. Come back Good soon. Good to see you guys. Love